Now, the further adventures of Big John and Sparky. Today's chapter is entitled, The Shock in Yuki's Head. <laughs> Butcher lost his memory. He bumped his head as he was emerging from a burning building. He was a hero. He saved a lady's life. But um, when he bumped his head, he lost his memory. He doesn't know who he is. Furthermore, and to further complicate things, he thinks he's Sparky. And he thinks that Sparky is Mayor Plumfront. As a matter of fact, he has all of his friends completely mixed up in his own mind, that is. Join us now as Sparky and I are talking about the problem. Oh, Big John, what do you think? What are we going to do about Yuki? What do you mean, what are we going to do about Yuki? Well, we're not just going to sit by and let him lie around in the hospital like he is. I mean, without a memory, are we? Well, I don't know what we can do. A case like Yuki's is just one that there's, well, there's not much of anything can be done about. I mean, you have to let nature take its course, you know. But uh, what, what if nothing happens? I mean, we just can't let him go through life thinking that Mayor Plumfront is Charlie Rustlaw and that I'm Mayor Plumfront and that you're him and that he's me. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> Yuki thinking he's you. And I'm him. I mean, that's even funnier. <laughs> well, I don't think it's funny. We have to do something. Uh-oh, telephone's ringing. That's all right, I'll get it. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Mayor. Come here, Plumfront, Big John. Yeah, uh, see if he's heard anything from the hospital about Yuki. Uh, have you heard anything from Yuki? Big John wants to know. Oh, that's the reason he called, Big John. Uh, oh, what'd you hear? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see. Sure. All right, we'll be right over. Yes, hello. What do you have to say? He said he got a telephone call from Yuki's doctor. And the mayor wants us to come over to his office in City Hall to talk about Yuki. I told him we'd be right over. Is that right with you? Sure. Can't do anything for him just sitting around here. Come on, let's go out to the car and get up to Mayor Plumfront's office at City Hall right away. Yeah, and I hope we can figure out a way to make Yuki get his memory back. Hello, Miss Stella Buffer. How's every little thing? Mayor Plumfront's expecting you. Should we just go right on into his office? <laughs> go ahead, Sparky. The mayor's secretary nodded her head that we can go on into the mayor's office. <laughs> she likes to work. She doesn't even stop typing, even to answer a question. Yeah. Open the door there, will you? Okay. Okay, I have Okay, Waldo, well, you, you get together with Smiler's Tam and meet us over at the hospital in about 45 minutes. Right, fine. Okay. Hey, yeah, goodbye. I'll see you. Hi, there. Mayor. We got here as quickly as we could, uh, Mayor. What's uh, what's going on? Oh, how do you fellas come on in here? Sit down. <clears throat> uh, listen, let me tell you about a telephone call I got from Yuki's doctor, who, as you know, is the famous French brain specialist, Doctor Gaston Bocou. Yeah, I know. Uh, what did he have to say? Well, uh, there was uh, a little a bit of... Did he see whether or not Yuki would get his memory back? Well, first of all, lad, the doctor said that Yuki is suffering from a very acute case of concolius ad nauseum ad patres buncolus ad ungium. Boy, that sounds bad. Sure does. Is it as bad as it sounds, Mayor? What did the doctor say about Yuki's chances of regaining his memory? Well, um, Dr. Bucot says that uh, we must do two very important things. Number one, we've got to humor Yuki along. What do you mean, we've got to humor him along? You mean when uh, Yuki says, I'm you, Mayor, then we have to agree with him, and when he says, you're Charlie Rustball, we have to agree, and if he says, Big John is Yuki himself, we have to agree, and when he says, he's me, we have to agree. Right, right, that's exactly what we have to do. Doctor says, as long as Yuki thinks he's Sparky, we should call him Sparky. Oh, come on now. Now, I know it sounds ridiculous, but uh, if it'll get Yuki's memory back, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Well, all right, I'll go along with that. What's the other very important thing that we uh, we have to do besides humor him along? Well, the doctor says that if we, that is Yuki's closest friends, can think of some way to shock him, to you know, really shock him, that that might bring him back to his senses. And I think I'll figure something out. Yeah? 
You figured out a way to shock him? Huh, Mayor? What, what, what would you say is the one thing that Yuki loves most in this here world? Huh, his 1913 Model T taxi cab. Right, right. Now, fellas, I figure if Yuki was to suddenly see his Model T in a wreck, it might knock him back to his senses. See his Model T in a wreck? Hey. Yeah. Well, uh, how would you do that? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. Old Waldo Wobbledang has got an old 1913 Model T just like Yuki's. And it's not in very good condition. And I just called him. I just talked to him on the phone. Just hung up there. And he said he'd be willing to wreck it if it would help Yuki get his memory back. Yes? So? Well, so you and me and the lad are going to go over to the hospital and take Yuki out in the hospital grounds for some sunshine and fresh air. And while we're walking along... Waldo's going to come driving along in the 1913 Model T, and Smiling Sam Bishop will come along in his truck, and he'll crash it into the Model T, and it'll all happen right before Yuki's eyes. Oh, I get it. And it will all happen so suddenly that Yuki might think it's uh, his Model T that's in the wreck, and the shock might uh, make him uh, get his memory back, huh? Right, John. That's your idea. What do you think, Big John? Well, <laughs> I don't know. It might work. It's worth a try. Well, come on. Let's get over to the hospital and try our scheme. Well, I must say, it's awfully nice of you fellas to come over and take me out for a little walk around the horse pistol grounds. <laughs> Nothing I like better than fresh air and sunshine. I... I like to listen to the birds chirping in the trees, too. Yeah, it's a wonderful day. Say, uh, Mayor, how come you're not busy down at City Hall today? Well, you see, Yuki, I was, uh... Ooh, <laughs> I forgot he's talking to you, lad. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, how come I'm not uh, busy at City Hall today, Yuki? I mean, uh, Sparky? <laughs> um, well, I just uh, took some time off to visit you. Ah, oh, fine, fine. How about you, Yuki? Taxi cab business not so good lately? Oh, the uh, taxi cab business is uh, wonderful, Yuki. Uh, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, just wonderful. I hired someone uh, else to drive my cab for me during the day. I drive it at night now. It's a lot cooler, you know. Yes, yes, it would be cooler driving the cab at night. Say, Yuki, I mean, uh, Sparky. Yeah, Charlie, what's on your mind, old boy? <laughs> you remember all the good old days up in dear old East Cantankerous, Illinois? East Cantankerous, Illinois? Where's that? <laughs> Never heard of the place. Who oh, me? That doesn't sound to me like this here. Plan of ours is going to work, Big John. Well, as you will recall, Mayor, I am from East Cantankerous. How's that? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Now, oh, that's right, Yuki. I done went and forgot. <laughs> You're from East Cantankerous. <laughs> yes. Hey, look, Yuki. I mean, Sparky. Look at this teen old automobile coming down the street. Isn't that a good-looking old car? Well, what do you know? A 1913 Model T. Yes, isn't that a fine-looking 1913 Model T? Why, it almost looks as good as the day it came off the production line back in 1913. Yeah, what do you think of that there fine-looking old car, Yuki? I mean, Sparky. I don't think it's going to be so fine looking after this here truck hits it. Hey, a truck hit the old car. Oh, my goodness, did you see that, Yuki? Your 1913 Model T was hit by that there truck. Yeah, did you see that, Yuki? That was your Model T that was hit by that truck. But did you, did you, did you, don't just sit there looking at us, Yuki. Say something. Your 1913 Model T is all smashed up. Isn't that the most horrible thing that could ever happen to you? Seems to me that that's about the best thing that could possibly happen there. What? Boy, Yuki, what, do you mean that you don't care that your wonderful old Model T was all smashed up like that? What do you mean, my wonderful old Model T? That ain't my car. <laughs> I wouldn't know that old Ted was he like that. That old pile of junk shouldn't even be on the road. It's the better to the highway. But stop calling me Yuki, please. My name is Big John. Well, your idea of shocking Yuki back to a sense didn't work, Mayor. And now he thinks he's Big John. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Well, I wonder if we'll ever be able to get Yuki back to his own self. We humored him along, we tried to shock him, but nothing seems to work. <laughs> he started off the day thinking he was me, now he thinks he's Big John. No telling who he's liable to think he is next. Not even think he's Napoleon or something. Well, if you get any ideas, let me know, because we've tried just about everything there is. Uh, you'll have to excuse me now, because I have to get back to Yuki. I'll see you later, kids. So long. <laughs>